what is going on you guys it's been a little while um, since I released something other than a player error video and that's because my family and I have been on the go for about a month and eight days so I'm not gonna show off any cards um, in this video and probably won't talk about the hobby hardly much um, but it's just gonna kind of just let you know what my family and I have been going through in the last month and some change because um, I like to share our lives with you guys um, so December the 4th we moved out of Virginia Beach we moved out of our house there hit the road um, it took us two days to get to Houston that's where I'm originally from that's where my family lives um, so we were in Texas for about a week or so good time um, I hadn't seen my dad in five years and my, my dad and I are pretty close um, I hadn't seen my mom in five years as well and her and I are really really close um, and it was great to see my brother my brother's one of my best friends in life and my sisters and all that so great time um, to be expected and then we left Houston and went up north to the Dallas area and man we had a we stayed in Amarillo Texas one night and when we woke up I opened up the uh, hotel window man and it was just snow man everywhere and I was like fuck like the one thing I did not want on our trip was crappy road conditions because my truck needed some new new front tires and I'm like man dude this is gonna suck and did it ever <laughs> man it was terrible um we hit the road we got on amarillo and i don't know what that interstate is like 40 i think i think we might have been on 40 by then um and dude my freaking truck was all over the road um to the point where one at one point i fishtailed so bad like going like this like if this is the freeway straight dude i was going like this down the freeway about four or five times back and forth man and i had an 18 wheeler next to me god only knows why i didn't get hurt um, i had my son next to me i had landon with me um it was scary 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 stuff um, and it ended up fishtailing me off the road, off the median, off to the right. And it was scary, man. And then not even an hour later, I did it again. And somehow I managed to save it. Um, and what was funny, cause like, I'm the type, like when the shit gets real, like I don't freak out. I don't go crazy. Um, cause I think you lose your bearings when you do that. You just kind of have to buckle down and like... I don't know collect yourself as best as possible you know so when I'm fishtailing all over the road I'm not screaming I'm not yelling I'm not slamming on the brake slamming on the accelerator you know I'm just doing this trying to regain composure in the road here and Landon was on um, his tablet and he's like yeah it feels like we're in NASCAR and I'm like oh my gosh like now I look back on it now and I laugh. Man, I was pissed then. Like I'm like freaking out and you're over here having the time of your life, dude. <laughs> like you have no idea the kind of danger we're in right now. Um so we got through that and that was that was that. And then we got to Lamore, California here on around the fifteenth. Moved in, the movers, um, which for those of you that don't know, like military movers aren't always Johnny on the spot. Like when they say they're going to be there, they're not always there. Um, but they were here, man, right when they said they were going to be here. So like we got our keys and they were boom here like an hour later, which was awesome with our stuff. So we moved in. Christmas came. That was awesome. My father-in-law and his girlfriend came over Christmas night. Like we had prime rib and, and all this good stuff. Well, what nobody knew at the time was my father-in-law's girlfriend's mom that lives with them had COVID. She was COVID positive. And so when they came over, because um, her mom lives with her, when they came over, they brought COVID into the house. 
Um, so my father-in-law, his girlfriend, Tiffany, my daughter and I all were playing cards Christmas night together, playing poker and different card games. And man, it wasn't two days after Christmas, like Tiffany started feeling like crap. And, and I'm the type, like, I don't get sick very often, like maybe once a year. And, uh, like I started feeling very weird and I'm like, God, dog, man, I feel like crap too. And she was like, I, we need to go get tested. Well, we live on base now and the hospitals, man, it may be a mile away. So we went and got tested. And what's funny is the doctor, um, was like, Hey, if you're positive, you'll hear from me in about four to five hours. And if you're negative, you'll hear from us in about four to five days, letting us know you're negative. And I'm like, okay. It was 15 minutes later, the doctor called us and was like, hey, y'all's results are back, y'all are positive. Well, let me tell you, if you haven't had the coronavirus, man, it fucking sucks. Um, I know a lot of people have had it and had it without symptoms and some people have just had like my, minor fatigue um, and I'm not one to say like this person had it worse than that person or I had it worse than you or you had it worse than me but man my wife and I had it bad dude like so bad for like four or five days I couldn't even get out of bed man um, the fatigue was so bad um, my wife had fevers, like uh, a fever real bad that was nonstop. Well, after about 10 days of this, like I'm 38, my wife's 40. I'm thinking like, we're still young, man. Like this shouldn't be hitting us this freaking hard. Um, we ended up, she ended up talking me into going to the hospital. Like, as in like this stuff is not leaving. Like, I don't know why we're having the coronavirus for so long. Well, by the time we got to the hospital, man, I was so weak. Like, I couldn't even check myself into the hospital. Um, Tiff had to check us both in. And then they put us, like, in this COVID waiting room. And I, I can laugh at this now. At, at the time, it was pretty scary. Um, we just sit in there. Like, my ass just hits the seat. And I tell Tiff, I'm like, hey, I'm like, I got to lay down on this floor. And she's like, Garrett, you are not going to lay down on the floor in this waiting room. And I'm like, you don't understand. I have to lay down. And she's like, Garrett, you are not going to lay down in here. And I'm like, fine. Then I'm going to pass out in this chair. Like, this is our exact conversation. I'm like, then I'm going to pass out. And she was like, you are not. And then I passed out, dude. And it was the weirdest thing of all time. Like, I, I pass out and I can hear everything around me just fine, but it's like pitch black. I can hear everything, but I can't move nothing. And I feel myself in this chair like this, like, like I can't close my mouth. I can't move my head. And then I'm with it enough that I can feel like all these the presence of all these people around me and like people, someone's slapping me in the face, not hard but slapping me, my wife's freaking crying. Someone like opens up my eye and my eyes apparently are going like this, like sideways, like super fast. And then someone's like, we need to rush them back now. We need to rush them back now. And like my blood pressure, I get, I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on TV, but my blood pressure was uh, 52, which I guess that's like ridiculously low. Um, so they get me back and put me on fluids and inject all these freaking needles in me. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we weren't there, but like, what, 12 hours or so, 18 hours. Um, but man, that was some scary shit. And what was funny was my doctor, the doctor told me that it was good that I passed out because if I didn't pass out, I would have stayed in the waiting room. Like my wife, my wife was in the waiting room for that entire time. And they had a nurse that was like the COVID waiting room nurse. And her only job was to attend on the COVID patients in the waiting room. And so like they did like all their shit from there, man. And I felt so bad for her because those chairs were just terrible. Um, 
but that's that um, I would say we're about five days now kind of symptom free you know I have a rash I guess they call it COVID rash um, I call it hives um, it just kind of pops up every now and then and man it itches like the day is long man it's terrible um, and then like I'm a big runner like I'm a fat ass but I run also um, and I was running like three miles a day before COVID well I ran a half a mile yesterday and I thought my lungs were gonna explode so uh, I'll see how long that side effect lasts you know being in the military um, we get graded or judged or whatever you want to call it on a physical test twice a year and so it'll be interesting to see how long this side effect takes um, or before it goes um, that's that you know Tiffany's doing good our daughter had mild symptoms through the whole time um, I'm doing good um, what else a lot of y'all were asking me about the TTMs that were in Houston and that were here in California waiting on me at my father-in-law's there was a ton 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 of TTMs um, and I'm not gonna show them um, I think I'm kind of over showing a lot of my TTMs um, but that's a video for another day um, I had like Dan Marino there's couple John L.A.'s, I think there was seven Peyton Mannings. Um, there were some interesting ones, some guys that had passed away um, before I got, before I opened up that TTM. Um, so there was some interesting stuff. Um, some Phil Negros, um, Fred Deans, Herb Adderley's, um, all kinds of stuff, man. It was really, really good batch of, of TTMs. Um, what else I guess that's about it for now so that is that um, I'm just kind of letting y'all know what's going on in my life and all that and where we've been um, today is January the 12th which is a Tuesday and I check into work on the 15th which is this Friday here in one two three days so that's why I have this epic beard this is the longest my beard has ever been my entire life um, so I retire in 36 months from now and it's nice to see that I will be able to have a nice beard post retirement. So that is that. Till next time y'all. Adios. Be safe. Bye bye. I appreciate you letting me bend your ear for almost 15 minutes talking about my family and I. So adios. Doodles.